In this video, we will be talking about three words that sound exactly the same, but are spelled differently and are used in different ways when we write. Go ahead and label the next blank page in your writing notebook with this title of the lesson. Remember, I color code the notes on my slides that I want you to write down. So if it's in purple, you're copying it into your notebook. You're catching the most important things and you aren't overwhelmed by thinking you have to write everything down because I don't want you to write everything down. What spelling pattern do all three have in common? Do you notice anything? They all start with the letters T-H-E. Go ahead and underline the T-H-E of all three words in your title. Now let's read each of them together. There, there, and there. I can't tell them apart just by hearing because they all sound the same. Words that sound the same but mean different things are called homophones. Now let's learn how to tell these homophones apart. There, T-H-E-R-E, is the place I want to be. There shows location. Check out that doodle. See how the two boys are looking in the direction over there? Go ahead and draw your own version of the T-H-E-R-E -E to help you remember that there is used to show a place. Another purposeful doodle you could draw to remember there is used for a place is to turn the R into an arrow pointing at the next E. There shows a location. Choose how you want to represent this word in your notes. An example sentence could be, the robot is over there. There spelled T-H-E-R-E, -E, the place I want to be. Another way that we can use there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, is when we need to use it as the first word of a sentence. What do I mean by that? Example sentence. There are two kids outside. See how there is used at the beginning of the sentence? Sometimes T-H-E-R-E -E is used that way too. If you have not already written these two example sentences next to your drawing for T-H-E-R-E, -E, pause the video and write them down now. T-H-E-I-R shows ownership. Check out this purposeful doodle. The fur is their fur. Fur meaning the tree that everyone is pointing to. But this second one may be easier to draw. T-H-E-I-R means they own something. So turn the I into a person who owns something. A great little jingle to help us remember is the following. T-H-E-I-R, that's their stuff, their house, their car. Let's do it together, ready? T-H-E-I-R, that's their stuff, their house, their car. An example sentence could be, that is their toy. Two kids own the toy, that is their, T-H-E-I-R, toy. Another great sentence using their to show ownership is, their homework was done. See the four kids? It is their homework that we are talking about. Their homework shows ownership. There is another word equation I want you to write down. They apostrophe R-E equals they plus R. The word there is a contraction. Notice where the apostrophe goes, where the A got dropped. This is a funny word drawing that actually shows that. And it says, we're tall, they're short. And notice you can replace there with they are. They are short. Another doodle to capture the way we use T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E is like this. Turn your apostrophe into the missing A to help you remember that this word is really two words combined. They plus R. In the same way that I taught you the trick with the U apostrophe R-E for you are, 
Try using the words they are in the sentence where you are unsure to help you determine if their, with the apostrophe, is the right one to use. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's practice real quick together. Let's try they are, those two words, they are, in the blanks to see if we use the T-H-E apostrophe R-E, one or another one. Blank, ready to go to the zoo. So we're going to try, they are ready to go to the zoo. Does they are make sense here? Yes, absolutely. Let's use they, apostrophe R-E. Let me know when they are here. Does they are work in this sentence? Yep, there with the apostrophe because we are replacing the words they plus are with there. What about this last one? When are we going over they are? Does that make any sense? No. So it's not going to be there with an apostrophe. It's going to be another there. What kind of there do we need here? I'm thinking the location one. Since we're asking, when are we going over there to a place, to a location? So that would be the T-H-E-R-E one. There is the place I want to be. Can you think of an example sentence for there? How about they're planting a garden or they're going to a hockey game? Choose one of these example sentences to finish out your notes for this lesson. So to review, T-H-E-I-R with an I-R means ownership, their stuff, their house, their car. And remember the little jingle we can say, T-H-E-I-R, their stuff, their house, their car. Then there's T-H-E-R-E, -E, and this is the there that shows location, a place, the place we want to be. It is over there. See that arrow? And finally, they apostrophe R-E, the replacement for the words they are in any sentence. Now I would like for you to complete page three in your spelling practice book. This is one big review of several of the lessons we have covered over the last week. The directions say to circle the right word. We will go over the correct answers in class together to start our next writing lesson, and I want yours to be done and ready to go when you come to school. I can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.